What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some brand new WWE action figure news and it's actually kind of late. I am late to the party on this. I wasn't going to make a video on it, but uh, I never gave you guys my own initial thoughts. My damn thoughts. I never gave you guys my damn thoughts on these figures that we're going to talk about here today. And I thought about starting a podcast called My Damn Thoughts where I just discuss everything and it would be My Damn Thoughts. So that's, that's what I'm thinking there. I want to start an MDT podcast, but I don't know what to call it and I don't know what to exactly do about it just yet, but I'm still trying to figure that out. Lots of ideas in the brain. Can't get them out in production. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and dive into the new WWE action figures. I think one of these is going to be up for a uh, contender for figure of the year, which we'll get into. But let's go ahead and dive into this new WWE Elite Series, and it's going to be the WWE Top Picks 2000 and tw is, it tw is it 2020 or 2021? I don't know what they're naming this series, but... Regardless, 2020 or 2021, this is the new set that we got. Okay, so it is the Top Picks 2021 line. I just I just looked it up, confirmed. Let's dive into it. So starting off first, guys, we have the WWE Champion or former WWE Champion, the SmackDown Tag Team Champion as well in this figure, and it is the Kofi Kingston Top Picks 2021 Elite figure. This figure looks fantastic. I am a really big supporter of this figure. I think it looks fantastic amazing you know you're you're probably gonna think to yourself well i mean it's just a repainted figure right i mean this is a repaint of the elite 78 it's kind of a repaint of the elite 60 or whatever the hell it is or the the wrestlemania elite however it's pretty much a repaint of the uh, i think it's the elite 78 that we just got you have the blonde haired head sculpt so it's kofi with his blonde hair when you guys know he had the streaks in it the the elite 78 i think has a little bit of streaks in it well this one is going to have the full blonde hair beautiful looking head sculpt i think it looks just like Kofi. I think we've seen that one before. Same Kofi torso. Beautiful looking sleeved arms there with his tattoos. He is wearing this beautiful Xavier Woods like inspired or like get well soon attire. You guys can see on his left arm he has the black armband there with the XW for Xavier Woods. Him and Big E were rocking that for uh, months. I think they're even still doing it to this day because Xavier Woods still is not on our televisions but Kofi Kingston here in this rainbow gear and you guys can see the, the black shoes and it's got like the cream and the white and the rainbow and the blue. Really sick attire. Really underrated attire. I love this Kofi. I think it's a great Kofi figure. Kind of really cool to see Kofi make his way into the top picks line. I, New Day and Kofi have always kind of been popular to an extent, but to see him rise so much in fame and in stuff from that WWE Championship run, I feel like he gained a lot more fandom from that, a lot of support. So I guess they decided to put him here in the top picks 2021 line. I love this. I love the kick pads specifically because if you guys zoom in there, you will see an image of Xavier Woods where it says get well soon and you have the rainbow kick pads and stuff. Really, really sick figure. I love this figure. I think it's going to be in my top figures of the year if we get it before the end of the year. I'm hey guys, quick little editor's note here. You'll find out later in the video that they're actually in stock right now. So if you guys want to go get these figures, they are in stock just today. Like a few hours ago, they came in stock. So go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to pick up all of your top picks, 2021 figures. Use promo code MDTOYS to save 10%. I'm a stupid jackass for not realizing it earlier in the video, but yeah, they're in stock right now, Brad. These should be in very, very soon, and then to follow, I, I'm, I'm imagining they'll be in before the end of September, possibly, early, early October, possibly, as well, and then they should be at retail by early November or late October around Halloween time, hopefully, so we'll just have to see about that, see, you know, how it plays out or anything like that. The latest I would expect it is maybe Thanksgiving is the, when they'll be hitting retail. But this Kofi looks great. This is a fantastic figure. And I hate to tell you guys, but after that, I mean, this set kind of just plummets off a cliff. Because after that, guys, we dive into The Fiend. Now, this is actually very good for people that missed out on The Fiend, the Elite 77 Fiend. I know if you didn't order it from ringside, you probably missed out on it. I have seen it at retail a few times, not myself personally, but I've seen a lot of people finding them at retail. So if you guys could, you might be able to find a Fiend figure at retail. I know I've seen Elite 77 everywhere. You guys know when I bought everything at Walmart Challenge, when we went over here to my Walmart, they had a ton of Elite 77, but they did not have the Fiend there. And you guys will also notice that this is a re-release of the Elite 77. The only thing that is different is it does have the running hair change, so the hair is more accurate. It's got 
got the more blonder hair instead of the darker brown hair that we got on the initial release of the first wave of the Elite 77 Fiend figures. No jacket included, no Universal Championship, no custom stuff going on with it. It is a bare re-release -re of the Fiend Elite 77 action figure. And, you know, it is what it is. I mean, I understand it to an extent. Uh, it puts more Fiends on the shelf. These things are going to fly off. It's actually a really good business move right here because this thing's going to fill up shelves. You guys know, every time you go to a, a Walmart or a Target, what do you see? Top Talents AJ Styles, Top Talents Finn Balor, Top Talents Braun Strowman, Top Talents Seth Rollins, Top Talents this. So these figures are going to be very, very accessible, and them being the Fiend right here, these are going to fly off shelves. I, I think this will be like Braun. I feel like Braun you don't see a lot of in the Top Talents wave at retail, so maybe this will be the new Braun Strowman where it just it just goes, but I would understand this one going. I don't know why those Braun Strowman figures get bought up like they do, but he didn't make a return to this wave this year. We have a brand new lineup of guys, and we're getting back into it with the current WWE Champion Drew McIntyre, and this figure kind of upset me just because it is a it's just basic carbon copy. Uh, again, I totally understand it. He's the champion right now. By the time these hit retail, he'll probably still be champion, and he's a very recognizable face and name. And this, this is a figure that actually needed to be re-released, so I understand it. I would have just liked to seen maybe a different attire. It's ve it, If it's not the exact same attire as his NXT Elite, it is very, very close, if not the exact same figure. And it is this exact same figure as his Elite 70 figure, which had the two interchangeable head sculpts. This is going to come with two interchangeable head sculpts again. The interchangeable hands, the entrance coat. It does not come with a Raw Tag Team Championship. Would have been cool to see in a WWE Championship, but this is still very cool. Another thing that I'm noticing is on the packaging. It says certified authentic. Now, I'm not sure why they decided to add that to the packaging. A lot of people in the community were saying that they did that because of the AEW action figures. They didn't want people to see the AEW figures and be like, oh, WWE and like kind of cross-reference them. I'm not sure exactly, but you guys can see on the box, it says certified authentic and then that little square there. I know you can't really see it, but that is one of those licensing stickers. You guys know if you buy any memorabilia from like college teams or NFL teams or any WWE memorabilia when you get your shirt in the mail you know that little highlighter sticker it's got the rainbow kind of effect going on it you rip that off it's got the WWE logo it's like a licensing sticker that they put on all their products it looks like they're going to put that on all the WWE figures now I'm not sure exactly why that is but it is there so that is something to consider but this Drew McIntyre is cool one thing I, I looked at the boots is it me or did they make his boot shorter it kind of looks like they made his boots shorter I don't know if you guys are getting that same effect there but it looks like they gave him shorter boots it could just be me tripping but I don't know maybe the angle of the foot or the angle of it I know that Drew McIntyre doesn't wear tall boots he wears pretty much these shorter style boots if these were shorter I can't really tell again it kind of is giving me optical illusions going on but uh, maybe I'm just thinking they're shorter because I know Drew McIntyre wears shorter boots but there they are you got the Drew McIntyre figure which again this figure the the Elite 70 figure goes for like $80 $70 $90 I've even seen it go for a hundred so seeing this re-release is a big deal for people that missed out on the first wave because we can get the WWE champion in our collections if you missed out on it and this is a great opportunity to do so because, you know, it's going to be very widely available. So, uh, and, and also, I think I'm actually a total jackass because I just realized that uh, these top picks figures are in stock right now. So, yeah, they're shipping right now. So, if you guys want to pick these up, these things should be in stock by Halloween at retail is what I would guess. So, I do stand by that, but they are in stock right now. If you guys want to go pick these up, they are on Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Go grab the full wave. This Kofi figure looks great. Hopefully, I can get some reviews up for you guys here in the next few days. But anyways, the last figure in the set, guys, is going to be Roman Reigns. And this is a basic re-release of Elite Series 79 Roman Reigns where we made the, you know, the updated Roman from it. It's got the ponytail head sculpt, WWE Universal Championship. Not the blue version. It is the red version. You got the gold vest, removable gauntlets. Very good figure. I rated it as the best figure in Elite Series 79. So I think this is a great figure to plug into the Top Talents Wave. I love this figure. I like everything about it. I'll definitely grab it for more Roman bodies because I think it has the best tattoo likeness. The gauntlets are removable. You can easily make a promo gear Roman out of it. You can do a lot of great things with it. So I will definitely be grabbing this if I see it at retail. And you do get the great... The tattoo is the main thing with this figure. I really love the tattoo that it's got going on. And I really enjoy the, uh, the rest of the stuff that we got going on. But I'm stupid. I can't believe these are in stock and I didn't even realize it. But these are in stock right now at Ringside Collectibles, guys if you want to go grab them. Overall, you know, not the best set. You know, I do like that we are getting re-releases to an extent because they are, I mean, it's not like all four figures suck. They are four good figures. It's just kind of, I don't know, I guess because I'm just used to seeing the Fiend, I'm 
I'm used to I'm used to seeing Roman Reigns and Drew McIntyre's figure. While it's good, it's not the most exciting, you know, for like customs and stuff because Drew McIntyre's attires are pretty much the same every single time. It's not like Finn, you know, where you can customize it to a bunch of different stuff. AJ, Seth, Rey Mysterio, Jeff Hardy, guys like that where, you know, they have a bunch of different attires as guys that I typically like to see in lines like this. The Kofi looks immaculate. I think it's my favorite in the set, hands down. Next, I'd probably put Drew. Drew or Roman. I think I have the Fiend going last, even though I need that running change. My hair was not correct on my Fiend figure, but these are in stock right now at Ringside Collectibles. Guys, definitely go grab these while you can. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Wanted to put up my thoughts on these figures because I never did, and I cannot believe I did not think about them being in stock right now. So they are in stock right now. Go grab them. But that's going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.